good morning students so in our last class we discussed about the topic maxima and minima in maxima and minima we discuss about the turning point as not it or and how to find out the maximum and minimum value we discuss there for this we need three methods or we discuss in our last class three methods in three different way we can find out the maxima and minima or maximum value and minimum value so these three methods are absolute maxima absolute minima first one second one is local maximum local minimum and the third one is maximum and minimum so the first and second absolute maximum and absolute minimum and local maximum and local minimum these two are under first derivative test and the simply the maximum and minimum this one is under second derivative test so now here today we have to discuss the first type which one is absolute maximum and absolute minimum which one is under the first derivative test and now that's why here if you see the headline is written the maximum and minimum values of a function in a close interval so here this point is very important here close interval so now here when a function given to us with this function if a close interval given to us so we know there we have to find out the absolute maximum and absolute minimum is it clear so main point is what when a function is given to us and with this if a close interval that means the range is given to us then we apply there the first derivative test and which one is absolute maximum and absolute minimum so there are some another more names are here for absolute maximum and absolute minimum absolute maximum is also known as greatest value is it clear greatest value or also we can say global maximum i repeat this one absolute maximum is also known as global maximum or greatest value if anyone asks you to find out the greatest value or global maximum that means we know we have to find out the absolute maximum similarly absolute minimum absolute minimum means global minimum or least value is it clear okay so now here the topic is here the headline is maximum and minimum values of a function in a close interval so that means one function is given to us with this a close interval if given to us so how can we find out the absolute maximum and absolute minimum we have to discuss here now here some working rules are there to discuss this working rules just we take an example here and the example if you see here the question is given find the absolute maximum and minimum values that means absolute maximum and absolute minimum values of a function f given by the function is given here f x equal to 2 x cube minus 15 x square plus 36 x plus 1 on the interval so you see here the close interval is given close interval is given as well as the function is given to us is it clear sometimes this type of questions are asking like in this way find the greatest maximum or sometimes it is also asking like in this way find the global maximum or simply written in this way also find the maximum and minimum values so don't confuse because maximum and minimum with the help of second derivative test also we can find out but here if the question is given like in this way find the maximum and minimum and if the function is given and with this function if the close interval is given that means obviously we have to find out here absolute maximum and absolute minimum is it clear so now here let's proceed here the question this question how can we solve and what is the working rule here and now for this first of all what you have to do first we have to take the function here fx equal to 2x cube minus 15x square plus 36x plus 1 and now the first step is what 
according to our working rule the first step is whatever the function given to us we have to define say this one with respect to x here the function is given with in terms of x so that's why we have to define say this one with respect to x so if we define say 2x cube so obviously the answer is 6x squared is not it two constant term x cube if we define say 3x squared 3 to the 6 Similarly, if we define set 15 x square, 15 constant term x square, if we define set twice x, that means 30 x and in this way 36. I think all of you understood this one. How can we define set this? So, f this of x equal to we get here 6 x square minus 30 x plus 36. So, this one is the first step. If a function given to us, the first step is what? We have to define set the function with respect to x here. And after that, now what you have to do, after that the second step, in each and every time, what we have to do, we have to write f dash of x equals to 0. Each and every time we have to write this. Is it clear? Each and every time we have to write this, f dash of x equals to 0. So now here, that's why here written you see this one. f dash of x equals to 0. Second step. The first step we define set and after define setting the second step is we have to write f dash of x equal to 0. Is it clear? Each and every time we have to write this f dash of x equal to 0. This one is our second step. So when we write f dash of x equals to 0, now here f dash of x already we define set this one so this f dash of x means what 6x square minus 30x plus 36 so this value we have to put in place of this f dash of x so when we put this value 6x square minus 36x plus 36 equals to 0 so now from here 6 is common if you take uh, 6 common here x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 and here the multiplication of these two is equal to 0 means what 6 is not equal to 0 so that means only the possibility is what x square minus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0 here so now here with the help of middle term splitting method if we uh, separate this then we write here twice x minus twice x and x common in the first two term x is common so if we take x common then x minus 2 and in the second two term if minus 3 is we, if we take common then here again we write x minus 2 so from this step x minus 2 is common so x minus 2 common then here remain x in the first then minus 3 equals to 0 so this one is about middle term splitting method so here we get x minus 2 and x minus 3 equals to 0 so either x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 and now from here we get x equal to 2 and from here we get x equal to 3. So one more important point is here. Whatever the value of x we get, these x values are known as stationary points or critical points. Remember this, here only one name written, which one is critical points. These two values are also known as stationary points. All of you understood this? So now here x equal to 2. After calculating this one, we get x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. And these two are known as critical points. So I think all of you understood this one. Here mainly two steps are there. F dash of x we have to find out first. And then we have to write f dash of x equal to 0. And from there we find out the critical points. All of you understood this? So after finding the critical points, the next step is what you have to do. So here the critical points, x equal to 2 or x equal to 3, whatever we get, these two critical points we have to put on the given function. And the given function is this one, 2x cube minus 15x square plus 36 plus 1. So here we have to put these two one by one and we have to evaluate the value. x equal to 2 we have to put here as well as x equal to 3 also we have to put here understood and at the same time one more thing if you see here the close interval is given the close interval is given 1 comma 5 if you see here the close in 
interval is given here 1 comma 5 you see here this one 1 comma 5 so when we find out the critical point the critical point are always in between the close interval always this one if you get in between the close interval that means your critical points are correct otherwise some calculation mistakes are there if you get another value so here the interval is between in between 1 and 5 and 1 and 5 are including so you see here the critical points are whatever we get 2 and 3 these two are included in between 1 and 5 so how can we find out the absolute maximum and absolute minimum for this what you have to do here the two x values we get x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 and with this we have to take the close interval value also the close interval value means here x equal to 1 range in between 1 and 5 so x equal to 1 and x equal to 5 so here we get two values x equal to 1 and x equal to 5 and here we get two values x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 all these four values we have to put in the given function the given function is twice x cube minus 15 x square plus 36 x plus 1 and if we put this value here and then we get some values there after evaluating and from there we have to find out the absolute maximum and absolute minimum is it clear okay now next part how can we solve this one let's see here so now in this case what you have to do you see here already written if you see here we shall now evaluate the value of f at these points and at the end points of the interval. At this point means here we evaluate two points, two and three, is not it? And with the end point of the interval means one and five. So that's why here we written uh, x equal to one, x equal to two, x equal to three, and x equal to five. One and five are the end points and two and three are the critical points. Is it clear? So now one by one we have to put on the given function. So here the function is this one. And when we put one in place of x1, if we put and after evaluating we get the answer is 24. And when we put two, then we get the value is 29. And when we put x equal to three, x equal to three here, we get 28. And when we put x equal to five, we get 56. So four values we evaluate here. And after that, after calculating these values, now we can easily write the absolute maximum and absolute minimum. So as you see here, already written, so absolute maximum, absolute maximum, so we have to write maximum of, so the, whatever the values we get, we have to write one by one, so 24, 29, 28, 56. And among all these four, which one is the greatest one? 56, so that's why our answer is 56. So greatest maximum or absolute maximum value is 56. At which point? At x equal to 5. Is it clear? Similarly, when we write absolute minimum, so minimum of, we have to write all the values, 24, 29, 28, 56. And among all these four, which one is the minimum? 24. So that's why we write here 24. And when we get 24? Uh, when we put x equal to 1. So that's why here, x equal to 1. 24 at x equal to 1. So these two values are known as absolute maximum and absolute minimum. I think all of you understood the procedure, the working rule here. Very easy method. If you solve this one like in this way, then easily we can evaluate the absolute maximum and absolute minimum value. I hope all of you understood this one and with related to this one homework given to you. So the homework is like in this way you see here. Find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum values of a given function f given by. So you see here the function is given, this one. So easily we can differentiate this one and we can find out the critical point and the interval is also given. Here the interval is given in between minus 1 and 1. So whatever the critical point you get here, these critical points are we get in between minus 1 and 1, first point. And second point, after taking this to end point and the critical point, if we evaluate, then we get the absolute maximum and absolute minimum. The procedure is same. So you have to do this one by yourself and let's check out whether, whatever you understood the question properly or not. Is it clear?
so in this way lots of questions are given in your exercise uh, exercise i think this one is exercise 6.5 yeah, exercise 6.5 in question number 5 6 uh, 5 and 7 in exercise 6.5 5 and 7 lots of questions are there you can solve very easily yeah in this way is it clear all of you understood okay thank you